What's up guys, this is Crypto Thoughts. Zach here, bringing you another video. So today, I would like to bring you guys the coin Patientory. It's really low in the market cap, and it's pretty cheap, and I really think it has the potential for 1,000x growth in the next 6 to 10 months. So let's get into it. Patientory. The coin market cap right now is sitting around the 124th spot. It's got a $17 million market cap, trading at 25 cents US dollar value for each PTOY token and around 7,390 Satoshi for each PTOY token. So what is Patientor? Well, Patientor uses the blockchain to allow doctors and patients to securely store and connect electronic health records. Using encryption on the blockchain, it makes this data absolutely impenetrable. So basically what it does is it allows you to store all of your medical records on the blockchain. So anyone on the outside cannot be able to see it. No hackers can get involved in nothing. It's a really safe system. So why patient or why does this matter? Why, how, how does the blockchain benefit this? Well, there is a lot of hospital ransomware that's been going around in the last five years or so. <clears throat> Basically, ransomware will come in and encrypt the hospital system's data and make them pay a fortune to unencrypt this data or they lose everything. So I'll read this quote here from the Buffalo News. ECMC officials estimate expenses tied to the incident were nearly $10 million. So basically, um, over this last year, this hospital ECMC was basically hacked and ransomware was applied on their data systems and they basically lost everything because they didn't pay the ransom and so they had to end up paying 10 million dollars to get everything back so imagine if they had this blockchain system in place where no hackers could come in and hack their data that would have saved them 10 million dollars so any sort of um any sort of a hospital out there would love to see this kind of technology save them a lot of money and make it a lot better for the users so let's look at this statistic so 2015 alone six billion dollars in damage due to data breaches in healthcare systems so that's like literally across the u.s across the world there have been six billion dollars in damage that's a lot of money and with a blockchain that could potentially prevent this from happening um, it, it, it really is um, speaks a lot and it's one of a kind so um, one other thing is it's uh, this blockchain is HIPAA compliant so it it falls in line with the US legislation um, that provides guidelines for protecting um, patient medical information which for long term is actually really good it looks really good for the passion toy company so let's look at the token itself. It's actually built on the Ethereum blockchain. It's a token off of it. And um, so it runs on the Ethereum blockchain. So how will these PTOY tokens be used? What do they actually do? So by having the PTOY tokens themselves, it allows you to store your data or for hospitals or doctor's offices to store data with their own, with, with their own private nodes. And by having the PTOY tokens, you need, you need that to be able to store data. And so patient or the company will act as a broker as well. Um, they would, like, so basically they will be selling out the systems as well as some of the tokens. And there's 70 million tokens that they have created, which isn't very many. So that speaks a lot to the potential value later on. It's also, um, there was a question on a video that, that they were asked, um, some of the developers, and I'll link this video in the description, but basically someone asked, well, what happens if Ethereum as a blockchain fails and it doesn't work? Well, they commented and said that their blockchain, their um, patient tour is actually interoperable. So they could, if, if there was any issues with Ethereum ever, they could take their platform and just move it over to any other blockchain and continue use. So that actually speaks a lot. It speaks a lot in the value, like in the sense that if there are ever any issues, they can just move their blockchain, they can move their systems onto a different blockchain. Um, one other thing too is during one of these videos, they actually commented and it's they didn't say much about it, but they, that they will be partnered with Dash at some point. Dash is um, another d digital currency. It is um, actually like around hundred dollars right now. It's a pretty good coin. It's really, really, really fast and efficient. So um, that could be very useful later on. So let's get. Let's get into the team. So the team, uh, the actual CEO is right here, Krissa McFarland. She's the founder and CEO. They run the company out of Atlanta, Georgia, and they've had a couple conferences. I believe they won an award in Colorado 
for their um, innovation, and it's actually um, a pretty big, pretty big thing so far. Um, it's been around since I want to say the beginning of this last year, like the actual tokens. The token sale was over this summer, and <clears throat> and yeah, so I mean, this is the team here. So here's the roadmap that, and the history of it. So today we're we're in August, and all of these things have happened. If you can if you can look at this one here, this stands out to me. Named top 11 company distributing healthcare in 2017. So wow, that speaks a lot. I mean, they are extremely. This company is extremely extremely innovative, and it could have a lot of value later on. It's only sitting at a 14 million dollar market cap, and that is extremely low for something that has potential like this. So later on, we can look to see in the year um, up into September the release of the patient app. So one of the things that they plan to do is put apps on on the people's phones, so you can store all your data, not necessarily on the app, but you'll be able to access it through the app through the blockchain. And um, imagine if we could all just walk around with our medical records stored on the blockchain, we could access them on the app. Imagine how much easier it would be able to just go into a doctor's office and not have to worry about filling in all of that unnecessary, excuse me, not, I mean, it is necessary paperwork, but it takes a lot of time and it's just a, it's really a big pain. If you've ever been into doctor's, off, doctor's offices or hospitals a lot, there's a lot of forms that you have to fill out. And this, this, will be able to kind of solve that problem. You fill out the form once, your data is on the blockchain, and then therefore you can walk into any other doctor's office, pull out your phone, pull out your app, and there you go. You'll have your data right there in front of you. So yeah, um, we're, we're looking at the beta in November and the um, beta 2.0 in 2018. So there's a lot of growth left in this company before anything actually happens. So, I mean, right, right now it's, it's looking like a really good investment to me. And this is, these are some of the reasons why. So this technology is like very needed. One of the things that Chris actually talks about as this industry really hasn't seen much of a technology update in the last like 20 years. And we're, we're seeing hospital ransomware rise, like on the website, I'll show you guys that they pull out, they actually pull out numbers and it's in the billion dollars because that it's costing hospitals. And imagine if they have the technology to input, they can use blockchain to stop this from happening. They're going to want to pay a lot of money and these tokens are going to become very valuable to hold. So just look at, um, I mean, the, me I mean, medical data fines too. that, that millions of dollars, millions of us dollars. And there's just, a, there's a need and there's a use case for this kind of technology. So $1 token is very, very feasible. So that would move the, that would move the market cap to a $70 million market cap. And for something like this, I think it could even go to $10 to a $700 million market cap, or maybe even a $7 billion market cap. That would put it in the top 10, but I mean, top three, but I mean, that that's very feasible in the next, in the next two to three years as this industry starts to grow and more and more money flows into it. So right now sitting it at 25 cents, to me, this seems like a very, very good investment. So these are all of my resources here, and you guys, I'll link all this in the description just so you guys can go back and check through everything, um, just just so you so you can feel comfortable investing. I'm not, once again, not telling you what to do here, but um, for me, I, I really, really do like this um, currency, or this token here, I should say. So yeah, here's coin market cap. We're looking at 124th spot. Click on it here real quick. 25 cents, like I said. And um, yeah, so I mean, it started out back in June was released on the markets, went up, down, 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 and now we're just kind of sitting here consolidating, waiting for the next move up or down, and I really, really believe it's going to move up. Um, you know, this this technology has a lot, a lot of potential. One last thing, we'll go through and look at the website itself. So yeah, making healthcare secure. you, you got to love that, honestly. You really, really do. Um, one thing on this website that I found um, and saw is um, they're working with, uh, sorry, Tons of different tech, tech, um, tons of these different tech technology companies that work in the healthcare care industry. Like one in particular is Cerner. Um, I know of Cerner very well. I live in the region, and um, Cerner is a huge company from where I live. So I mean, yeah, just um, I personally am going to invest in it, and it it looks like a really really good coin to me, and can really be really be there for the industry later on. So yeah, um, once once again, guys, do your own research on all of these coins. 
this is not financial advice. This is me just exposing you to the material and telling you what I am doing. So you got to go out and do your own research. You got to understand the coin, got to understand the team around it. You got to listen to the people talk before you can really make a sound and educated, educated um, investment. So yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, um, I will be posting more videos. So give it a like, give me a subscribe. Do you guys have any criticisms? Just uh, just throw it in the comments and I will try and make it video better for the next video. This is Crypto Thoughts, guys. Peace out.